Yeah, so do I. So do I. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. He's part of Kid Tannen's gang, I almost can almost guarantee you. He looks very, very familiar. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't really want to click on that. I'm not sure if I've learned everything I can from Edna. Okay. Except she won't even let me get a word in edgewise, but anyways, we'll try Ahem. it. You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes? What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Corleone, you know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Oh, Good brain, crap. I see. And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Let's see. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Aha! Uh -huh. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, <laughs> I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Corleone. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black okay, book. Okay, okay. Little black book? So we got to get a black book. Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Corleone. Okay, so we got that. And then... You say you know Emmett is a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. <laughs> this one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. <laughs> Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girls, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. Okay, so I think we That's got what we needed. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. 
Whoa. Hey, Audie. You seen my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. Nice. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Okay, we gotta talk to her. Trixie, that's right. She was in the mm. To second all episode, who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah, uh, yes. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Um... So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So, you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Ah. Uh. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Uh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well... Well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, <laughs> such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? So, Artie's working for the Expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. Okay, uh, how's Kid? How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing, it's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about <laughs> turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Hmm. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So... Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Oh, she has to get mad at her. Okay. So, um... What's Artie's job? Oh, he's a real high muckety-muck at the expo. He's in charge of all the money and the hiring and firing. Hey, not bad. You're telling me. And super respectable, too. It's a real relief for him to have a job where the boss never pulls a gun on him. It's good to see that you and Artie are both doing okay. Oh, we're more than okay. And if things keep going the way they're going, we may be more than just friends before you know it. Well, don't get too serious too fast. Nah, we're keeping things casual for now. Good. I'm sure Grandma will appreciate that. <laughs> Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Beats me. Audie says it's all bread and circuses. 
But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. Okay, so... See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Okay, so what it looks like is it looks like we gotta get Edna pissed at her. Hey, Artie! Can't talk right now. Okay, let's talk to Edna then. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Corleone? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... His invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. Okay. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How no. about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't, until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! Okay, now there is someone right over here that just came, that I just saw. This guy. Cue ball. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Uh, let's see. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Really? Um. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid. Me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? That's what I want. Oh yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell. It just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know. Huh. So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on! No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Uh, let's see. My mom saw me in my underwear. That ain't so bad. Last year? Okay, that's pretty bad. All right, Junior, you win. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is Whoa. that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Wow. Okay. Dude, I feel amazing. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Hang okay. loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. <laughs>